you are looking at two teams ready to show you how much sports knowledge we have here at YBA. On the left, Team ESPN8, The Ocho, Ben, Adam, and Josh. On your right, Team The Situation, Jeff, Max, and Nick. Who has the most sports knowledge? We'll find out right now on YBA Sports Challenge on K Sports Sunday. Now to our host, Alex Barth. Hi, and we'd like to welcome you all to our Static and Natick, State Studio in Natick. And despite my sunglasses, it is not even close to summer. It is still cold here in Massachusetts. So we're inside to do some sports trivia. We're going to see which one of these teams knows more about sports overall. Here's how it'll work. I'll throw out a question. I'll read four multiple choice answers. The team that buzzes first and answers right will get two points. If not, the other team has a chance to steal. If a team does answer right, they get an extra point free throw question. Two points for the regular question, one for the free throw. And teams, do you have your buzzers selected? Yes, we do. Buzzers could raise their hands, please. All right, thank you very much, guys. I got to say, Team ESPN 8, the Ocho, I love the dodgeball reference. Uh, team the situation, you guys aren't going to get any special treatment. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the first question? Yeah. And oh, here we go. Boston was one of eight teams in the inaugural season of the American League in 1901. However, the team was not always called the Boston Red Sox. What was the franchise called? A, the Teacups, B, the Americans, C, the Bostonians, or D, the Patriots? And I heard a buzz from Max first. The situation. I'm going to go with the Americans. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. Two points for team the situation. And now for the free throw question. Boston went to their first ever World Series against the Pittsburgh Pirates in what season? Uh, A, 1929. B, 1957. C, 1903. Or D, 2012. It's a free throw question, so you guys get it. Stand up. Step up to the mic. 1903. So wish, free throw question, good. So team the situation three, team ESPN eight, the Ocho has not come to the play. Off to an early lead. Okay, here we go. Next question. Who was the fit first pitcher for Boston to throw two no-hitters in their franchise history? A, Denny McLean. B, Jim Longboard. C, Cy Young. Or D, Randy Johnson. I heard a buzz. Uh, I think a buzz came from over here team first ESPN on the left. Eight first. Mr. Cy Young. And that is correct. All right, Cy Young. Now for a chance to tie. In the history of Boston's storied franchise, which pitcher was the first to win the Cy Young Award? A, Cy Young. B, Dick Raditz. C, Don Larson. Or D, Jim Longboard. Cy Young? Oh. That is incorrect. Oh. oh. And uh, he did never win the award named for him. Yeah, have a chance to steal this And a one? chance to steal the extra point extra question point for question. one point and get a two-point lead. Can you repeat the answers, please? The answers are A, Cy Young, B, Dick Raditz, C, Don Larson, or D, Jim Longboard. Uh, Don Larson. Oh, that is incorrect. The answer is Jim Longboard oh. in 1967. Yes, yes. The Red right. Sox seemingly miracle season, that was cut too short. <laughs> in 1967, for the next question, which future Hall of Fame great batted for the Triple Crown the last time it would be achieved in the 20th century? All right, I think you don't it was get, team, team the Situation. Team I think the Situation. You didn't get the answers, though, so you're going to have to step up with that. Is that how it works? If they buzz early, they don't get they the answers? They buzzed early. They might want to answer early. They buzzed early. Go ahead. You might want to consult with your teammates. Five seconds. All right. Carl Yastrzemski? That is correct! Nice. Carl Yastrzemski. The options were Jim Rice, Manny Ramirez, Kalia Stremski, or Jimmy Fox. Team now, The Situation has five. Team ESPN 8, The Ocho has two. The Situation now for the free throw to start solidifying that lead. The Red, so the Red Sox welcomed their very first Rookie of the Year Award winner, Walter Droppo, in 1950. Who won the award for the franchise in 2007? So Rookie there for the Red Sox in 2007. Was it A, Rico Petroselli, B, Dustin Pedroia, C, George Scott, or D, Bernie Mac? Dustin Pedroia? That is correct. Free throw question is good. <laughs> I say Bernie Mac, I meant Bernie Williams. I'm sorry. I was watching Bernie Mac movies last night. Team the situation six, team ESPN eight. Bernie Mac's two. median, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Ten points wins it. Which of the following Red Sox greats won four home run crowns? A, Tris Speaker, 
B. Ted Williams, C. Tony Conigliaro, or D. Carl Yastrzemski? I heard a buzz over there. This team's starting team to pull ahead. Situation. Ted Williams. That is correct. Team ball game. So, team, the situation eight, and uh, the opponents, ESPN eight, the Ocho two. So, free throw question now. To make it match point, who was Boston's first ever franchise player to hit for the cycle twice in their career with the team? A. Willie Stargell, B. Brooks Robinson, C. Bobby Doerr, or D. Carl Yastrzemski? Bobby Doerr? That is correct. All right. One point away from victory is team the situation. Next question. Next question. The Red Sox won the 1918 World Series against the Chicago Cubs. When would the next season be that the Red Sox would win the World Series? <laughs> I think I heard it over here first. I think I heard the Ocho first. The Ochos? Okay. Two zero zero four. Could you repeat that in total, please? <laughs> Two thousand and four. That is correct. <laughs> Could there possibly be a comeback brewing here in Natick? We'll see. For the free, free throw. throw question, in which ballpark did the Red Sox play their home games in the 2010 season? Do you need the options? Uh, Fenway Park. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm not even going to say congratulations. You, you should get that one. You're from Boston. All right. Team ESPN 8, the Ocho making a rally. They have five. Team The Situation has nine. All right. Most of our questions have been baseball. We're going to go over to another grass sport now, that being football. This could be the last football talk for a while, so let's enjoy it. Ooh. Of the following NFL stadiums, which one has artificial turf? Oh, which one has natural turf? Sorry, which one has natural turf? Gillette Stadium, the New Meadowlands, Raymond James Stadium, or Cowboys Stadium? I, I heard it over here first. Gillette Stadium? That is incorrect. <sighs> Following the 2003 championship run, the team decided the field was too expensive to take care of. They put in artificial grass. Uh, can you repeat the answer, please? Gillette Stadium? New Meadowlands Stadium, Raymond James Stadium, or Cowboy Stadium? Raymond James Stadium? That is correct. There it is, and that, that means game. it's over. That ball is the ball game. game. Team situation. The Situation wins it 10 to 5, but they both have unbelievable sports knowledge. Alex? That's it for this episode of the Sports Challenge. Make sure you join us next time for even more questions, even more knowledge, even more sports, and even more challenge. And now, back to a back talk.